seems like a movie <laughs> which is being produced by Yash Chopra, which is being directed by Aditya Chopra, which has, which stars Mr. Bachchan and Shah Rukh Khan and uh, Aishwarya Rai. And I'm in the middle of this action. Am I dreaming? What is happening? Why did a film called Bachelor Party, which um, if I'm given a choice, that's probably the only film I won't have done again. Hi guys, this is Ikanchi. You're watching this on iDiva and I, it truly sucks that I'm only in a talking stage today with the man that's known for Mohabbate. But we'll do with what we have. Let's welcome Jimmy Shelton with us today. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Welcome to talking stage. Thank you so much. Yeah, so do you, do you know of any stages that are present in our uh, generation's dating? Well, I just heard that there are quite a few stages. I've not gone into the details hmm. of it because I think uh, I look back and we say that ours was much simpler it was like trying to and then if you're lucky then you end up seeing each other and yeah pe seeing each other alag hota hai, dating alag hota hai, relationship bahut, alag hota bahut, hai. Bahut, uh, terms hote hai. but uh, congratulations on Raniti. i watched the trailer i really liked it i cannot wait to binge watch and just like you know be like okay episode after episode after episode but what i want to ask you is when you play a character in a content piece that is very intense and that's very that's like a real life situation uh, even if you want to add certain things to a character you can't say that i will not do this because that character yeah. at that time did it so do you feel like there's an added responsibility on your shoulders while playing a character like that well uh, anyways when you're doing something which is based on true incidents and all that whatever that there, there is a very big responsibility mm -hmm. then you're playing somebody from the defense forces, it could be a soldier, an agent, whatever, officer, whatever. I mean, uh, that again is a huge yeah. responsibility. And things don't happen overnight. I think we uh, have, we sit down, have discussions, we do so many readings. For this particular series, if we talk about it for Raniti, my look, the way this character looks in mm -hmm. the thing, Kashyap Sinha, I think we finally locked this look after one and a half months of or probably uh, a little more than that. Every seven days, eight days, we were having a look test. Sometimes with a beard, sometimes short hair, then grow your hair, then this, then that. And finally, after one and a half months almost, uh, we, these guys, like everybody from the team said, this is the look. And mm -hmm. they finally locked this particular look for for the show. So there's a lot of hard work that mm. that goes into it. There's a lot of discussions that happen between the director and the actors. This is how I'm looking at it. This is um, this is what his mannerisms should be like. In most of the detailed stuff, this is how it goes. So you, mm. there is a lot of time that you have to keep planning. And then finally, it's the main match when you start shooting. Talking about responsibility, uh, do you think that actors, even if it's non-fiction or fiction, do you think actors today tend to like a character so much that they might not promote in real life, could be a psychotic character, could be a toxic character, but do you think that that also comes into play because we live in a country where there is so much hero worship and you know you would want to re re replicate what a you what you saw a hero doing even when you know that ye sahi nahi hai but usne kiya hai to mujhe karna hai no 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 i don't think i mean i'm i'm sorry but maybe it it uh, could have been happening in in our time you hmm. know what i mean that we saw the hero making a big physique and then you also wanted to make a physique yeah. and uh, him uh, you know, riding a bike really fast and doing those things and you also want to do it. I don't think uh, the generation today really does that. I'm, I'm not at least seen people do it. In real life, they might just get inspired by one of the uncles who <laughs> like parties too hard or drinks too much or something like that and they find him really cool and they could try and go that way. But I've not seen these youngsters getting inspired by the way, uh, I could be wrong also. <laughs> But uh, I've not seen any of these youngsters getting inspired by heroes doing what they're doing and they are mm. also doing that. I like mean, that, that, that is very ideal, ideal, like that should be true in an ideal yeah. world where people are not doing what a, what a, if they saw a, a man slap a woman in, the, in a film that they wouldn't want to replicate it and they might not do the exact same thing. But in my personal opinion, they st if, if a character is misogynistic on a hundred level and is slapping and whacking somebody in the film, they might not do completely that, but they might just get inspired and like probably treat, talk to their woman badly or just, or just maybe make fun of her insecurities or something like that. Like they might not replicate it completely. I, I can understand what you're saying. Subconsciously, they might yeah. just uh, this thing, but then subconsciously, 
uh, it could also happen without watching a particular movie. You know what yeah. I mean? It could just happen because yeah. you would have probably seen your father do that to your mother or something yeah. like that. It could it could even happen like that. So why blame films all the time for everything? Hmm. So blaming everything <laughs> on everything, I think is that is something we should just forget about and move on. The yeah. world will be a much better place every time we just find blames to put on people. This didn't happen because this movie did this to people. This wouldn't have happened to my son because this movie is, did this to him. But uh, when I saw the te teaser, Raniti, uh, there was a there was one particular scene of fighter <coughs> planes that were just going like this, and that uh, drew a lot of comparisons uh, of the way it was shot with fighter. And uh, even though the story is completely different, mm. and like it's not like the a lot of people might be saying that they could have taken the shots from fighter and put it over there. Are people saying that? <laughs> I hope they are not. <laughs> <laughs> not that I know of, they are not saying that. But uh, but what is your reaction when you put so much hard work? I can only imagine how much hard work it takes for you to, as you said, it only took so many months and weeks to finalize a look for one character. So for it to show, for it to happen, casting to happen, shoot to happen, and then post production, and then it, when it finally comes out, when you see that people are either comparing or sort of वो कुछ नुक्स निकाल रहे कुछ कुछ चीजों में, do you feel like how do you feel? Because I would get very agitated in all honesty. No, even I say that Lord forgive them, because they know not what they do. Yeah. It's as simple. I mean, why why to if if somebody is stupid, then what do I say to that person? Yeah, he's not even watched the series. He's just seen a trailer. Yeah. And just because he found one shot to be similar to this thing, oh, it looks like this thing. If fighter had not come, they would have said Top Gun. Yeah. That looks like Top Gun, and then they could have thought that it looks cool. And yeah. you know what I mean. So they just everybody is just waiting for bad to happen to everybody. Yeah. That's the sad bit about this world. कभी आपको I know you did say कि मैं stupid लोगों को क्या बोलूँ but कभी कभी आपको ये चीज़ stupid लगती है कि तुम जिससे comparisons draw कर रहे हो हम लोगों ने शायद जब shoot किया था तो हम हम दोनों को नहीं पता था अलग अलग दो sets पे कि क्या shoot हो रहा है and just because it's come like the timeline is such with whatever. The main thing is the story is not about that. Yeah. The story is about a series of events over a period of those 20, 24 days, 25 days because it's uh, from Pulwama to Balakot and beyond. What happened? What kind of events happened? And in that series of events, a Balakot comes. towards the end agreed but talking about <coughs> trolls if you do get hate comments or hate reviews do you i like does it affect your mental health and how do you sort of keep it in check does it i do read them and i just try to figure out why this person hates me so much i do i even know him or <laughs> uh, have i ever and then i try to figure out that uh, is he probably changing a name and trying to this thing like i still can't figure out why he hates me but that's okay i would love to ask you that how what kind <coughs> of a relationship do you share with your parents because when i was doing my research and all that i did uh, read that you did talk about how your father cut your ties over a religious uh, Choice that you had made and they weren't okay with it. And now that you are a parent yourself, uh, what are the parallels you draw from their parenting, and what are some things that you wouldn't do or would do differently? There are lots of things I would not do. I think when we were kids, we would really get after our parents to uh, get us this or that or whatever, whatever. And I can understand how parents try to give their kids whatever hmm. they can to the best of their abilities. But I would not have. Done that again. If I have to go back to my childhood, I would not have bothered my parents about uh, anything. I would yeah. just probably live without anything. Then ask them for for anything. Firstly, that, and secondly, I think uh, it wasn't my father. My father just got caught between a crossfire. <laughs> but uh, my mother did not speak to me for uh, for a very long time i used to be in the hostel and i just uh, we all make mistakes and i uh, did cut my hair and uh, my mother then got very upset and she did not talk to me for a very long time and and uh, yeah and uh, i mean it's sad she is uh, she passed away in 2015 and, uh, and yeah so that's why i'm saying that a lot of things that we feel we did when we were kids and uh, whatever when i look back i i always say that i would not have done the same thing again if i was a kid again do you think that industry friendships 
um, are not just friendships and they are also no matter which industry you are in also like a way to network because if, if someone is my friend but is like an 8 on 10 actor and if this person is like a 10 on 10 actor but I don't hang out with them so much I might push for that friend if I'm in that power so do you if you're in the power you'll go for the 10 out of 10 that's how the friendship works. dynamics I'm saying that how does the friendship no it doesn't work like friendship hmm. you think of who is uh, good for your project and who is good for your character hmm. and everything like that and if you're saying that that person is 10 on 10 on everything yeah then that person is definitely going to take that 10 on 10 person mm -hmm. even if he has to pay 10 rupees extra or 100 rupees extra to that person hmm. you know what I mean that makes yeah. sense everybody that I meet who has worked with Shah Rukh Khan has a one at least one Shah Rukh Khan story or an incident uh, which is so sweet because I and I love to hear that story and you have worked with him twice um, in Mohabbate and then my name is Khan also so how was it like shooting after the same person after such a long time no, so, so uh, Mohabbate time was, uh, I was too new because mm -hmm. it was uh, like, you know, it was like a, like a dream I was living. Like, you know, like I'm in the middle of some kind of action. Seems like a movie <laughs> which is being produced by Yash Chopra, which is being directed by Aditya Chopra, which, which stars Mr. Bachchan and Shah Rukh Khan and uh, Aishwarya Rai. And I'm in the middle of this action. Am I dreaming? what is happening, you know, that kind of a situation was there every single day. Yeah. But yeah, as far as incidents are concerned, I think I remember once we were shooting uh, uh, for a song, Hamko uh, Hami Se Churalo from uh, this one, wherein uh, that time we were shooting somewhere in the meadows and uh, the shot was SRK with uh, Aishwarya and that, and then they kind of go out of frame and the camera catches me and Preeti and we come and we do our bit over there. So while we were rehearsing, uh, SRK was there and he was like, uh, he just got up, he came to me and uh, he said, if you just walk a little from this side, I'll be, I'll be able to probably see a little more of your expressions and uh, if the same look that you're giving her from this side, if you give it more from that side, something like that he said, which, which meant uh, so much to me at that point of time being my first, second movie, like, you know, Machis was my first film. Yeah. That was a very different kind of a film. In the middle, again, I had done a, a Marty kind of a film and this was only my first proper commercial movie. So here you got to be very particular about your looks and your everything and whatever. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, those kind of moments were there and same would go. And obviously then many years later, we shot for My Name is Khan. But I, I, the, the, the great thing is that whenever I meet him now also, it's great. His hugs are still that warm, elder brotherly hugs, you know, that. And, uh, and yeah. Who from the cast of Mohabbate is still like somebody you can call and chit chat if you feel like? I think sab abhi apne apne kaam mein busy hain. Uday remains uh, mostly out of the country, mostly in LA and Dubai because he's he's handling the overseas, uh, the English uh, part of uh, Yash Raj. And then Jogi also is in New York, even though he does uh, come here for shoots and all that. So over texting and maybe a call here or there or we, like last time I met Uday was at uh, Paramounty's uh, anniversary or whatever. But yes, there was a time when we were like very, very thick, uh, especially me and Oday, because we used to work out together also. We were doing films together. And yeah, but then, you know, life happens and yeah. everybody gets busy in their work and their families and stuff like that. So, yeah. Yeah, but we have also heard that you love sneakers and that you're a sneaker head. <laughs> love sneakers, yeah. Not love obsessed, sneakers, shoes. but love. I'm not obsessed. I mean, I'm not like I want uh, all the colors in the world and all that, whatever. That's obsession for me. Hmm. I'm very particular about the, the colorways and the and the styles and the models hmm. that I like. I don't, uh, this thing. So either those are already grilled or they end up becoming grilled. But those are the kind of, uh, hmm. but that doesn't mean that everything that's grilled is liked by me. Yeah. Yeah, but what's the highest amount of, like, highest <laughs> amount that you've spent on a sneaker? <laughs> Which you might, could have been scolded by somebody in your family or friends or your partner being like, it's a pair of shoes. Yeah, well, what, what might be high for me might not be very high for you, so the why highest, get into the highest, yeah, 
देखो वी डोंट एक्सपेक्ट डिप्लोमेसी फ्रॉम यू देखो इट्स एंड स्पेशली नाउ दैट वी आर स्पेशली नाउ दैट अब हमारा सेगमेंट आने वाला है तो अगर आपने अभी आंसर नहीं किया फिर मैं उसमें पूछ लूँगी फिर आपको एलोवेरा शॉर्ट भी लेना पड़ेगा तो देन देखो मैं आपको एक सिंपल से एग्जाम्पल देता हूँ जब आप <laughs> जब आप किसी चीज़ पे दो लगाते हो और उसकी वैल्यू दस बारह पे जाती है वो ज़्यादा अच्छा होता है उसकी फीलिंग बहुत अच्छी होती है ना कि अगर आपने किसी चीज़ पे आठ लगाया और उसकी वैल्यू पंद्रह पे गई yeah. आप समझ रहे हो ना रीड बिटवीन द लाइन थ्रू आउट ठीक है ये मैं थोड़ी मैथ <laughs> बाद में जाके करूँगी कट देख के बट मूविंग ऑन टू आर पिंकी प्रॉमिस सेगमेंट ओके द फर्स्ट वन An overrated movie in the recent times. Overrated movie in the recent time. I do want to clarify that some people act very diplomatic or act. Yeah, one second. I also want to know that uh, what movies have released in the recent time, and out of which, which ones have I seen? Yeah. I have to have. I yeah, yeah. Should have seen it also, na, to Haan, comment on it. True, true. Take your yeah. time. लेकिन बस आपको <laughs> बाहर की हॉलीवुड मूवी टाइप मत बोल देना <coughs> अरे भाई मैंने पूरे पिछले एक दो साल में से हिंदी पिक्चर एक ही देखी है एनिमल आई हैव लव्ड इट इज वन ऑफ माय फेवरेट फिल्म्स तो अभी मैं क्या बोलूं आपको कौन सी फिल्म मुझे अच्छी नहीं लगी है बताओ लास्ट कोई मूवी जो आपको अच्छी नहीं लगी चलो वो बता दो डजंट हैव टू बी रीसेंट शोज कौन-कौन से पीछे आए थे यार आई हैव नॉट ये मुझे याद करना पड़ेगा भाई ऐसे क्यों देख रहे हो चलो कर लो हम एंड में आते हैं इस इस पे वापस एंड में आते हैं ओके An actor whose filmography you find repetitive. Whose filmography you find repetitive? Yeah, like they are doing the same thing over and over again. Who is this actor who change ही नहीं कर रहा है अपने आप को? देखो ऐसा नहीं है कि same same roles. अरे मेरे को example दे दो यार दो तीन. उसमें से choice बता देता हूँ मैं आपको. चलो. दो तीन के नाम लो मैं बोल देता हूँ. नहीं नहीं. I can't I can't name drop. अच्छा. I will get that cancel. आपका कून कून मेरा कून पानी. ऐसे तो ना होता है. सर uh, मैंने आपको नाम ले दिया और मुझे कल उन्हीं को इंटरव्यू लेना पड़ा तो फिर तो बोल देना <laughs> तो बोल देना मैंने नहीं लिया था बट समबडी आप उससे बड़े हो क्या uh have we let it out <laughs> but i i personally feel like i would like to see tiger shroff for example in a much different role than just action hmm. uh and uh, akshay kumar is very versatile but re- lately i feel like he's just been doing so taking the two top names yeah they can they setting the example sense of certain they you need to next time interview them and tell them that i also felt and jimmy also felt that you guys are capable of far more then what you're doing right now just stuck in one image aapki baat se sehmat hu ki tiger aur akshay bhai akshay bhai ne to phir bhi bahut variation ki hai apni life mein but tiger uh, is capable of far more than that but like you said repetitive aapko agar lagta hai to mujhe to as an actor definitely lagega we'll cut it out it's fine nahi nahi kyun cut out karna hai bahut acha tha ye ha kya mo movie that you regret doing you shouldn't have done why did a film called bachelor party which um, if i'm given a choice that probably the only film i want to have done again you know what i mean there was some comedy some situation Ar- arbaz is a very close friend and he requested me let's do this it will be fun i i that point of time i found it fun and all but i kind of didn't have a good experience while shooting for it because a lot was promised and the way it started turning mm-hmm. out it was like whatever but uh, but thank you arbaz for being such a great friend if you are watching just <laughs> <laughs> but uh, also uh, i love dar at the mall i love dar at the mall was I love was the a Ghana good experience also, dar at the mall was, the mall was a good experience i i will not say that uh, whatever because what i did not like about it was like 35 nights like hame khud bhoot ki tarah feel karne lag gaya tha after hmm. those 35 nights but otherwise it was great fun shooting with a role in the recent times you think you could have done better role in the recent times i feel uh, i can do every role better when i watch it but that's a problem with me i i watch it and i say oh why didn't i do th- why why didn't i didn't i do it like that like that like that mm-hmm. that that uh, a lot of actors have that problem mm-hmm. but i'm They sure do. you can give one name if there are so many uh, <laughs> times that you thought actually you're more interested in the name huh yeah 
That's the game. I'll, else you take a shot. आप बोलो कोई पिक्चर में मैं क्यों मैं कैसे बताऊँ कि मुझे लगता है आप इसमें अच्छे एक्टिंग कर सकते थे क्योंकि मैंने तो देखा ही नहीं आपको उस रोल में मैंने इमेजिन नहीं किया आपको बताना है आपने बोला बहुत सारी है पहला वाला भी क्वेश्चन रहता है ओवर वाला आपने कहा था एंड में बताऊंगा वो चार नाम दू आपको चार दे दू खुश हो जाओगे चार साथ में पियोगे तीन बच्चे हैं बट मैं पी लूंगी तीनों तीन चार भगत सिंह आई थी गूगल करके देख लेना मैं समझता हूँ कि सबसे बढ़िया भगत सिंह मैं करता पियो चार पियो तीन है बट चार तीन पी लो चलो तीन के लिए तीन पी लो एक को माफ भी कर देते क्वेश्चन खत्म नहीं हुए एक है जो हाँ दो है रियली लव दैट सर हमारे पास बॉटल है हम रिफिल कर देंगे फिर से बात Why have I I signed up for this? I don't know. If you could give truth serum to hmm. anybody in the industry and ask them one question, who would you give it to and what would you ask? <laughs> Got him finally. <laughs> It'll be. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> It would be Anil Kapoor Paji. I would give him a shot and ask him how does he do it at this age also. <laughs> <laughs> Just when I thought, yeah, okay. Yeah, no, no, no. Man. <laughs> Ab kahan se pi hume? But uh, okay. Hindi me dal do, yar. Refill kar. Wow, you are really, you really want me to. One, two, three, four, five is not a good number. Khatam na, we just. Hey, one question. One, two, three, four, five is not a good number. Khatam na, we just. Hey, one question. One, two, three, four, five is not a good number. Khatam na, we just. Hey, one question. One, two, three, four, five is not a good number. Khatam na, we just. Hey, one question. One, two, three, four, five is not a good number. Khatam na, we just. Hey, one question. One, two, three, four, five is not a good number. Khatam na, we just. कोई बहुत बड़ी फिल्म है तुम क्यों टेंशन ले रहे हो यार यार आप लोग कुछ आठ दस हिट फिल्मों के नाम दे दो यार मुझे एक साल के मैं उसी में से चूज कर हिट तो मैं बता देती हूँ बताइए पठान जवान एनिमल तेरी बातों में ऐसा उलझा जिया द क्रू गदर टू रॉकी रानी फाइटर ओवर रेटेड थी मुझे लग रहा है इन लोगों को बड़ा थोड़ा लेट पता लगा कि ओवर रेटेड थी तब तक हो गया था फाइटर शाहरुख I think he's one of the most charismatic stars ever. Hmm. Okay, Kangana. Steal something. Her talent. Okay, Sanjay Dutt. His his style. Okay, and R Madhavan. I like Maddie's uh, filmography. Okay. If you had the following people's phones, what would you think you would find on their last search? Like what would you find on their la- as their last search on a hmm. search bar? Rani Mukherjee. I wouldn't know here. Yeah. I <laughs> wouldn't know what rani would probably maybe uh, bags like hmm. lv and <laughs> <laughs> okay sargun mehta more bags i guess or shoes capitalism strikes again <clears throat> neeru bajwa oh bags and shoes and um, sunglasses and sunglasses and a lot of that stuff neeru yeah 100% okay shehnaz gil shehnaz gil um, i would met her once in my life so i wouldn't know it could be maybe shoes maybe bags maybe clothes maybe <laughs> yeah okay and lastly sonam bajwa i think whatever little i know about her is would be googling about religious books and religious uh, praises and all that yeah i mean i i think so yeah okay uh, if mohabbat was being made today who would you cast and why Like all the cast, if you had to change, I wouldn't change my body or the rest of the world, man. Wouldn't even change it for myself because I think some things are just so iconic that you should leave them like that. You should not even think of a second part. You should not even think of anything. You should just let them carry on the way they are. The biggest difference in Bollywood in the '90s versus now is. Well, everything is uh, digital today. Yeah. It was so organic at that point of time. Everything was so organic. Okay. If you were playing a character other than yours in Ranniti, which one would you have liked to play? I think Lara's character is very good. If it was a male character, I think I would have I would have uh, tried to do that as well. But uh, but that's only if I had uh, I I was told to. Otherwise, <laughs> I would I would definitely only do Kashyap Sena because it's 
is one of the nice ones. It's one of the really nice ones. One reason for people to watch Raniti would be? Why one? There's so many reasons. I mean, it's a series made on international, with international standards and very detailed series going into a series of events which have just happened, which are so fresh in your mind, which will probably undo all that you have seen till now on news channels and other films and other this thing because it's showing you a very different perspective of the same series of events mm. and which is also taking you behind the scenes and uh, showing you what all really happened rather than this thing. Mm. But it's just that it's in a form of a series and not a documentary. If someone was to give you a box of everything that you ever lost, what would be the first thing that you would look for? My mother. We will end this and it was great in bail that I was in a talking stage with you. I hope you liked this talking stage and uh, can we please have the hamper even though Jimmy made me drink all the shots but yeah, so <laughs> I'm sweet, just yeah. <laughs> nice. So sweet. That hamper says something this. also. Yeah, we would love to for you to see what's inside if you want to see. Hmm? Open and see. We would love for you to That's get your like reaction. That's also like a tradition. You can if you want to. The sunflower is matching your glasses also. Oh my god, this is insane. Pebble. No, just this thing. Actually, yeah, this, I know why this is the picture. And this is also, oh wow. See, nothing bad. Not, no aloe vera shots. Very sweet, yeah. Thank you. But thank you so much for thank being you. in a talking stage with me. Uh, I love this. Hope you like it too. All, All the nice. best for Raniti. Thank you and so much. Uh, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hi, this is Jimmy Shergill, and you're watching me on IDVA.